Now, there wasn't much activity on the market today, uh, but of interest is a foreign investor interest which uh, in a market which has been described as likely to be volatile in the coming few weeks. What's driving them back into the market? Uh, first of all, there's uh, so much uh, of the pending order that were there before the, the, the uh, entire intrigues of politics came through just in the last one week or so. So there's so much of cleaning up the house. Uh, a couple of the custodians are coming back, are coming back to the market, picking some of the uh, stuff remaining. But more importantly, I think uh, we are going to see more and more local and foreign investors coming through now that we have seen companies start announcing their results. And I think the first three announcements have been has have not been very disappointing. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, you've seen the prices don't they didn't react very much, but many investors are coming back. Uh, how's Kenya Airways doing after the um, award they received last week? There seems to be a bit of interest today. Uh, they moved two hundred and fifty four thousand shares between forty eight twenty five and fifty shillings. Is this a sh uh, stock you're watching as we get into the exactly. week? Exactly. By the close of the day today, we had more than 1.2 million uh, orders being queued. We're obviously at 46, between 46 and 47. The price is much more lower than where the market is. Mm -hmm. I think going forward, you're going to see much more interest. And my queue, we're also looking at, um, other than the award, I think uh, most of the internal issues have been solved. The expansion to the 49th route uh, across Africa. And then the results are coming through towards the end of next month. So I think people are positioning themselves in readiness for those good things coming up. Uh, Kennel Core Bill was today's biggest gainer, which is up two shillings, and it has been named as a stock to watch by some of the traders um, who we, you know, who give us a market analysis. What's your outlook uh, for Kennel Core Bill going forward? I think one thing, if you look at the crude oil prices, uh, though volatile, but they've been able to be stable for the last uh, two weeks. And I think uh, locally here, the purchase of the uh, company in Burundi, uh, obviously the one in Rwanda, I think that one has expanded much more of their footprint across East Africa. And I think um, be, um, before these announcements of the new uh, acquisitions, there was not so much activity coming through. So I think going forward, you're going to see a lot of activity coming through. And I think probably the demand may not be there, but the, but the, the supply may not be there, mm -hmm. but the demand is going to come through. Uh, yeah. Now, uh, despite the thin volumes you're seeing today, what else are you looking at? You know, it's usually said Monday's uh, rather slow for for everybody. As we get into Tuesday, what are some of the top? Uh, I, th I think um, uh, people are looking for the banks. Mm -hmm. uh, if you saw equity with um, almost 4.5 billion and you saw 12% growth uh, on, on Barclays, everyone's trying to bet what was going to look like for Standard Chartered, particularly given that they had done 48% um, are better in the half half year than the other year. I think people are trying to watch to see what's going to happen as well as KCB. And I think these are some of the stocks on the banking sector trying to see how their balance sheet looks like. I think for the two banks that I've announced, you've seen the assets have grown up, though the return on the loans has been very, very uh, uh, standard and didn't grow as much. But the return on the fixed income as well as the interest uh, income from the uh, investments in government securities has really substantially gone up backwards from 28 billion to 42 billion. Mm -hmm. So I think guys are really watching to see what happens in the other financial sectors too. KCB, the results come out on Thursday. What are your expectations? I, I think we're expecting they, they should be able to do, they should be able to at least uh, improve on their flat 1% um, uh, they did half year mm -hmm. and, and probably give us something good given that uh, the Southern Sudan have started uh, paying up um, some good returns as well as the one in Rwanda. Uh, 